One of the most common things that you see in terms of numbers are percentages. They're everywhere. Percent discount, percent commission, percent on a test. We see them all over the place. And what a percent really means, if per is the fraction bar, per cien, which comes from the same Latin root that the Spanish word cien for 100 comes from, means per 100. In other words, we divide by 100 percent over 100. So if I wanted to convert some percent into a decimal, all I have to do is put it over 100. And when we divide by 100, because there's two zeros in the denominator, that's just going to move the decimal twice. So if I see 78%, that means 78 per 100. And so we move that decimal point twice. 1, 2 gives us 0.78 as a decimal equivalent to that 78%. What if I saw a decimal in the percent, maybe like 0.3%? Well, 0.3% means 0.3 per 100. And that divide by 100 is going to move the decimal point twice. Well, for each of those spots, we need to add a 0. So 0.3% is 0 0.003. What about 9%? Well, 9 is 9 per 100. Again, we move the decimal point twice to divide it by 100, and we get 0 0.09 for 9%. Be careful, a most common error I see with percents is students will say 9% is 0.9, and it should be 0 0.09. What if I was more than 100%? What if it's 237.1%? Well, that's 237.1 per 100. And so we move that decimal point twice, which sticks it right after the 2. So we have 2.371 as the decimal equivalent of 237.1%. We can also go the other way. We can convert a decimal into a percent. And to do that, we're going to multiply by 100%. And since we're multiplying, that's also going to move the decimal twice. But because we're multiplying, it should get bigger. So we're going to move it the other direction. So for example, if I've got the decimal 0.239, and I want to change it to a percent, we take 0.239 and multiply by 100%. That's going to move the decimal point the other way, giving us 23.9% is the same as 0.239. What if I have 0.4? A common error I see is people say that's 4%. But that's not the case, because if I take 0.4 and multiply by 100%, that's going to move the decimal point twice, which means we need a zero placeholder to call that 40%. One more. What if I've got 0 0.0004? To make that a percent, we take 0 0.0004 and multiply by 100%. Multiplying by 100 moves the decimal point twice, so we get 0.04% is equal to the decimal 0 0.0004. That's how we move between percents and decimals. In our next video, we'll look at how we can move between percents and fractions.